we were talking about homeostasis and the way that patterns of life uh, kind of maintain their their order within a certain kind of uh, viable viable range. And it seems that this is where the phenomenon of healing comes from, right? That we can, if you cut yourself, you it kind of it heals in a way that has to be understood as the entire pattern propagating itself. And you you worked with uh, Stan Groff, right? Who who's a real giant in the area right. of of working with altered states of consciousness for healing. And it seems to me that that altered states are ones in which the system is temporarily disrupted so that it can return to some healthy kind of homeostatic balance. Is, does that resonate with you? Yes, yes, uh, absolutely. In fact, uh, I, can link to, I can link this to the theory of autopoiesis. Uh, in, uh, according to Maturana and Varela, a, a living system interacts to um, influences from the environment, which they call disturbances. Uh, it reacts to a disturbance with uh, structural changes in the system. And it does so in a self-organizing way. The environment will trigger the structural changes, but it will not direct them. And what is more, the, the living system um, will decide which disturbances to react to. And that depends on, on the sensory apparatus and on the whole structure of the system. So, you know, according to the complexity of the organism, it will perceive certain things in the environment and others it will not perceive. And, but the response to, to these disturbances is self, a self-organizing response. And so coming back to Stan Groff, you could say he creates disturbances in the psyche of people. And uh, the, uh, the, uh, the organism, including the mind and the body, and we, we should come to discuss what, what do we need by mind, but <laughs> the, the mind or the consciousness of the person will respond to the disturbance in a self-organizing way. And the skill of the therapist would be to create the proper disturbances that lead to a healing process. Right. But the healing and process is always a process of self-organization. 